If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the brand new Power Up Expansion. Now, guys, I've been telling you guys Power Up Expansion, although it's been slightly lackluster, is a super, super cool and innovative idea. So, hopefully today's players are pretty good because as you guys know, like I've been saying, I think that Power Up Expansion has the potential to be something super, super, super great, quite honestly. We got six new Power Ups today. Now again, the first two weren't too great, but what if they start giving us Power Ups for guys like, let's say Odell Beckham Jr., a guy who only has a 97, that can power up to 98, but now they give us that final 99. Now, I know it's only one spot, but what if it makes him just good enough to be end game? Because they know they're not going to drop another Odell. Or Saquon, he has his 97 theme builder, maybe they give him a 99. Like, they, they could, if they start doing it on players like them, I'd have no problem with it. I think it'd actually be very, very cool. It could be a great way to start filling out some cards and their power up slots. Now, personally, they haven't done the best cards, but that's just the beginning. They're working on it. Now, guys, my best thing about this, like I said, is for next year. Because next year, if they really implement this properly, it could really save us time. So let's say, like I said, a guy like Lawrence Taylor, who was stuck with an NFL 100 all the way up until May. He, Lawrence Taylor got an NFL 100 in, I believe it was November going to December, and he had he didn't get a card for almost six months, five, six months. So instead, they could have given him a power-up expansion, like in February, to get into a 97. So it would have been like a 97 power-up, and that would have been it. You would have had something to use until the 99 came out. I think it's the perfect way to bridge everything. And guys, there's also new weekly objective lists as uh, per usual. You guys already know those rewards. They don't really change too much. But... Guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on about boys, come join the family. Comment down below if you guys have any questions or let me know which one you guys like out of the power-ups. And guys, don't forget to use code Poodle at checkout at MMOEXP. Go pick up some coins, guys. We're in crunch time. Pick up some coins, get ready for those rig premieres and to build up your team. But guys, let's get into this video and let's check out the new power-up expansion players. Over here on Twitter, we can see some of the new power-ups that will be coming out. Before we go into all these stats and everything, we can see five of the six. So this is kind of like a leaked picture. So we got Marvin Jones Jr., Philip Lindsay. Anthony Costanzo, Eric Berry, Mike Daniels. Obviously, there's a six. Now, here's the kind of thing I was talking about. So, Marvin Jones Jr. actually could be a pretty good wide receiver. Philip Lindsay is going to be a super fast running back, which we all have 99 at this point, but he could maybe end up with Human Joystick now, which could be super cool. But this is what I'm talking about. So, Philip Lindsay's cool. Anthony Costanzo is going to be a great left tackle. Eric Berry hasn't had a card in quite a while. Everyone loves Eric Berry. Eric Berry is just a, usually like a fan favorite of people when it comes to the safety spot. Mike Daniels for Packers theme team. But here we go. So, the best thing about this is that we're getting good theme team upgrades for everyone. Philip Lindsay might actually be a very usable card. Costanzo's a tackle, so he's always going to be a usable card. And Eric Berry could be pretty good. I don't think he's going to be too fast, but he could be pretty good. Although, not that he's slow in real life, but you just know how Madden always is in terms of how they give people speed, especially with these power expansions so far. They've been keeping them kind of slow, but I still think it's pretty exciting. Now, obviously, there's a six. And the best thing about these power expansions as well is that you can't play solos to get them. Because don't get me wrong. It would really suck if you get to just get them out of packs and it's so late in the year. Like, something about power ups take a while to really, like, accumulate up on the block. So, like, if it was this late in the year dropping them, they'd probably call it for, like, 150k, 100k like they did the first time. And then you'd have to go buy them or hope you pull them. But in terms of this, you've been able to easily just go play the solo and get them, which has been a big factor in what has made this much better than it could have initially been. Because you can go ahead and get them on the solos. Without that, it'd be much harder to get them and you'd be spending too many coins. And right now, training is, like, less than one coin per. So, you could quite literally upgrade these guys to 98 for super, super cheap. Trust me. I recommend you go ahead and pick them up. So far, I'm probably thinking I'm leaning towards probably picking up Lindsay, Costanzo, and Barry if it was for my team personally. But I got to see what's going on. Now let's go check out the actual players and their stats. All right, guys. So the first one here is Eric Barry. These are going to be their fully powered up stats all the way to 98 overall. So Eric Barry, six foot, six feet tall. I was gonna say six foot something, but he wasn't. 94 speed, 94 excel. I told you they're probably making pretty slow. I know how EA does this. 88 tackle, 99 play rec, 92 pursuit, 88 man coverage, 95 zone, and 95 hip power. So the zone coverage and hip power is phenomenal, and the man, and the play rec. So the zone can get to about a 99, more than likely, with the right chems. Hip power is going to be great. Pl man will get above a 90, and the play rec's already a 99. Now, as far as if you put sprinter on him, you can get him to a 97 speed. So guys, if you have a, first off, if you have a Chiefs team team, you have a, you have a great safety. That's for starters. Now, if you don't have a Chiefs team team, that's fine, because he's still going to be pretty good. You still get him to a 97 speed if you have John Madden and Sprinter. So that's not bad. He's going to have pretty much maxed out zone if you have either A, John Madden, Lockdown, one of those. So now he's, he's going to be great at coverage, good hit power, great speed. Kind of going kind to of be like a baby Sean Taylor, actually, in terms of the current Sean Taylor I have. He's really not too far off stat-wise. I think that this is a really, really good card. I don't think it's that bad at all. And if it's on a Chiefs team, team guys, you have a phenomenal safety. Next on the list, we got Anthony Costanzo, 90 overall left tackle. Got his zero chill card art. Actually, let's see what the Eric Berry card art was. 
Looks like a base elite. All right, so zero chill, six foot seven. I forget how tall this guy is. Ninety two strength, ninety nine awareness, ninety two pass block, ninety two pass, ninety three pass block power, ninety one pass block finesse. Now out of those, pass blocking isn't too great, but his run blocking is awesome. So 99, 98 run block, ninety nine run block power, ninety five run block finesse. This card's actually really good because we're in a run heavy meta. So if you're a guy that has Bo Jackson and you only run the ball, you could honestly just put zone run on him and uh, John Madden rushing, and you could get his running all the way maxed out to probably all ninety nines. He can still pass block enough. That's the thing. Most left tackles have better pass block and less run block. He happens to have almost maxed out run blocking. So you actually, he's one of the best left tackles in the game because you can actually have a maxed out run block and left tackle. So if you're a run only guy, forget all this. All you have to care about is down there. Not a bad card. So far, two, two for two. Yeah, you're two for two. Let's keep moving on. I know we're going to have an L. I still think Marvin Jones is probably going to be super slow and kind of worthless, but we still have time to see that, obviously. But let's see. Next up, we got Mike Daniels, another zero chill card. That's how long it's been since these guys got some good cards. 79 speed, 87 excel. Okay, so far, athleticism isn't great. 98 strength, amazing. 97 tackle, amazing. 98 play rec, amazing. 98 block shed, amazing. 80 power move and 89 finesse. Now, here's our issue. The strength is phenomenal. Tackle's great. Play rec's phenomenal. And block shed's phenomenal. Like, so far, he's one of the best run stoppers in the game. I love him. But, he only has an 89 finesse move so that means and a power move so he literally will against most guys right now will not be able to pass rush he's going to be a liability in pass rushing which means he can only run stuff now if you if you have him in just for run sets or like whatever if he's just to run stuff he does his job but the issue is there's other defensive tackles right now that can both pass rush and run stuff like mean joe green and those guys so i'm gonna personally dodge this one he's not bad because you could use him as a pure run stuffer it'd be worse if he had a low block shit but i personally have to dodge him because he can't do both. So, so far, we're two for three, I believe, right? That was the third card. Okay, so two for three. On to the next one. We got Marvin Jones Jr., Team of the Week card here. 94 speed. I knew they were going to do that one. 95 jumping, 94 catching, 95 catching traffic, 99 spec catch, 89 short route running, 94 medium route running, and 98 deep. Route running's pretty good. So, if you put Sprinter on him and John Madden, you get him to a 97, route, uh, 97 speed. So, it's still kind of slow for my, for my liking at this point. Now, as far as catching goes, right cams, his catching's going to be great. And his route running is going to be pretty good. He's honestly a pretty well-rounded card. On a Lions team, team, he's great. On a regular team, he's okay. I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's bad at all because of how much you can get him up to. You can get him to like a 97 speed. I personally will dodge him, but I don't think he's bad. So I think we're two for four now on who I would use. Next one, Akeem Tlaib. Oh, God. I already see. We're going to be at a, we're gonna be at a, a two for five. Akeem Tlaib, 92 speed, 95 excel. So that speed can only get up to a 95 no matter what. That is way too slow at cornerback at this point. 92 speed on a cornerback. 95 excel is good. 95 agility is good. 99 jumping is great. 98 play rex amazing. 98 man's amazing. 91 zone's good. And 97 press. Lockdown John Madden. He's getting his man to 99, his zone to 94, and his press to a 99. And play rex to a 99. So he's going to be a great coverage corner. You put Okay, if he's on a Buccaneers team team, on a Patriots team team, or a Broncos team team, don't kill him for missing a team. But any of those teams, he's one of the best corners in Madden. One of the best, easily. But that's if he's on any of those teams, and I cannot guarantee you that he will be on any of those teams. But Buccaneers, Patriots, or Broncos. Great, great card. By itself, not looking too great. We're two for five. Oh, Lord. Final card, Phil Blinsey. Okay. I like this one. So, with Sprinter and John Madden, he's going to get to a 99 speed. Great. The Excel's a little bit low, actually. The agility's kind of low, too. 94 agility. 99 carrying is good. 68 catching, kind of low, too. He's kind of he's a pretty decent receiver, as well. 95 elusiveness, 78 truck, and 88 break tackle. Again, going to be another L. Come on. He has nothing... So, I don't care if you have no trucking. I get it. Philip Lindsay doesn't truck people. But trucking and breaking tackles are two different things. He's a very elusive guy. Like, he literally is always able to, like, shit. He's kind of like uh, Kamara, getting out of tackles, getting out of holes. Break tackles should be a little bit better. Because without break tackle or truck, that means literally whenever he gets touched, he's probably done for that play. And I, there's so many other running backs that could... I'd rather just have Saquon. He's better at that point. The guys are two for six today. It started off promising. But here, don't get, don't get me wrong. This card was borderline... Borderline could have been a three for five, a three for six. This card, Borderline, could have been a better one. And Marvin Jones and Mike Daniels are just right there. So this honestly was one of the better ones so far. But guys, that's better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Let's head back over to the Madden screen to close it out. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on your boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below who you like from this group. I'm out. Peace.